Well, it's been a whirlwind of a week. I launched my first game on Steam exactly one week ago, which is not exactly true, it's Wednesday. It's been nine days since I launched my first game on Steam, and I just wanted to take some time to go over how that launch process went, how launch week in general went, go over my specific Steam store stats, Say that three times fast. And I also wanted to talk about some of the emotions that went along with the whole launch process, the reception of the game, the sales figures, and all of that bundled into one. I wanna give you all kind of a peek behind the curtain to see what things are like in my shoes right now. I wanna be super transparent with all of the data and numbers. And I also want to go through the emotions that went along with each aspect of the game launch. Because I actually hated launch day. I hated it but I'll get to that once we go over the numbers. So let me give you guys an update about what my life is like as a fledgling solo indie developer who just launched his first game on Steam. I do wanna say that I am extremely grateful for those of you who bought the game. It's really cool having this hybrid community of YouTube subscribers, Discord members, patrons, Twitter followers, just seeing all of the support and comments from you guys. It's been awesome, so thank you so much for that. And I'm extra grateful for those of you who left a review on the game because as you'll see when I pull up the stats, getting to that 10 review mark helped tremendously with exposure. But let's get into some numbers. So my launch plan was to launch the game when the Steam Shmup Fest started. I figured it would be a really good way to optimize my exposure for people who go to the festival page and then may see my game there. So I woke up at 5.45 a.m. on Monday and I got everything ready to go for the launch. And when I hit that launch button at 6.15 a.m., I had exactly 465 wish lists, which is far less than what a lot of pro Steam marketers would suggest, but we'll get to that in a minute. I priced my game at $7.99, but I put it on launch discount of 38%, which brought the total price of the game down to $4.95 for the launch. And my biggest fear when pressing that release button was that something technically would go horribly wrong and my game would go live, but it would automatically crash on a bunch of users or somehow the build pipeline would get corrupted and the files that people downloaded wouldn't work properly or there would be some other immense technical issue. But I hit that release button and nothing was broken. So then I did a bunch of marketing stuff. I posted on Twitter, Discord, Reddit. I launched a YouTube video. And out of all of those, I will say Reddit did nothing. I don't know how good my Discord outreach was. A lot of people responded and said that they wanted to buy the game on Discord. The thing that did really well was my launch tweet. So here's the stats with that tweet. It got over 30,000 impressions and over 1,500 engagements, which means that like 1,500 people clicked on the tweet, which is really good actually. So I launched my game at 6.15 a.m. and the Shmup Fest started at 10 a.m. So I was really excited to see where my game was on the festival page. So if you clicked on the discounted tab, you would see that my game was right up there near the top. It was actually really good placement, even though it did move around throughout the week. I also made an appearance on the under $5 category, which was awesome. And so by the end of day one, here were my launch stats. I gained about 100 wish lists, I made 56 sales, and that resulted in about $274 in revenue. Then on day two, things slowed down significantly, and here are my stats for day two. But on day three, I reached a big milestone. I got 10 reviews on my Steam page. And as you can see on this chart, as soon as I hit 10 Steam reviews, Steam started circulating my game into the discovery queue, which led to a lot of store traffic. But unfortunately, I didn't really see those additional impressions convert into more sales. So here's all of the stats after one week from launching my game. And overall, I'm pleasantly surprised with the launch. I thought that with less than 500 wish lists and trying to sell a local multiplayer game on Steam, I would sell not very many units at all. And I knew from the get-go, Steam is not a good platform for a couch co-op game. But I gained a ton of experience going through all of the marketing beats. I sent keys to press and influencers, I did all of the social media junk, and I got some coverage out of that as well, which was cool. But it's been awesome seeing people play and engage with the game, making use of the feedback form and messaging me on social media and Discord, telling me what they think could be improved, people reaching out to me with suggestions. It's been great. It feels like the game is more alive now because there's a community of people playing it and giving feedback, and it's really cool. And we'll have to wait and see what the long tail looks like in terms of sales. As of right now, the Steam Shmup Fest is over, the game is no longer on discount, but I'm still seeing sales trickle in every day, which is awesome. One thing that I didn't see coming was how much I hated launch day. 
Like I got up early and I got everything ready. There were a lot of marketing tasks that I had to do and make sure that there weren't any immediate fires that I had to address and patch. I did spend day two and three patching the game with some feedback and different bug fixes and things, but nothing, nothing monumental. But I will say on launch day, after I had settled down, I really, I did not like sitting there refreshing the page, watching all these different stats and analytics go up. It just was not enjoyable for me. And it's not because I was disappointed in the numbers or anything. It was more just sitting there watching numbers on a screen tick up. It's like, how many people have seen my launch tweet? How many people retweeted it? How many sales did that convert into? You know, and it's just like, it's just numbers and it's, it's not what I do this for. I loved day two and three of launch week because that was when I was engaging with people. I was getting their feedback. I was programming, I was patching the game. I was more in the community and it was less about the big launch splash. For me, I'll take the day-to-day -day grind of developing a game over launch day any day. That's a lot of days. So for me, I was happy that launch day was over. I was really happy to get back in the code, getting feedback from the community and just making the game better overall. Now I'm very excited to be bringing it to consoles and I will update you more about that in the future. I will definitely keep you all updated with how things are going. Please feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions about what this whole process entailed. I'm trying out a bunch of styles of YouTube videos. Some people really like this authentic dialogue type of video. Some people think it's boring. I don't know, you tell me. So that's it for now. Feel free to hit me up with any questions. I'm giving regular dev updates in my Discord, and I've also been updating my Patreon page with specific data from the launch and posting a bunch of screenshots of stats and analytics there. So if you're interested in more behind the scenes stuff, you can check out my Discord and Patreon. That's it for now. So thank you so much for tuning in. But yeah, I'm excited to keep you all updated. And until then, I'll see you in the next one.